Yeah, so we're starting a little bit earlier than we normally do just because, you know, we want to get this recording of podcast 46 that you're listening to over with. I actually, uh, we're just kind of dejected at this point in the season. I'm Andrew. With me is Jake. The Bears drop another one. It's it's crazy, Jake, and I feel like I've said this a million times. It's just, it's crazy how many winnable games this fucking organization and this regime, this Eberflus regime, is able to just fucking drop. Yeah, we're kind of the goats at losing <laughs> winnable games. We're the greatest of all time. Like, how many one score losses have we experienced? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to figure that out in the, in the Eberflus reign. Mm-hmm. How many fucking ones? It's like fifteen one score losses. It's, insane. <laughs> it's or, like every fucking week. Or games that we have the lead at one point too. I feel yeah. like choke it away. So <sighs> last week was a seventeen point loss, and then the la- we beat the Raiders, and then it was a six point loss to the Vikings, three point loss to the Broncos, thirty one points to the Chiefs. That one was never in question. That was a dog walking yeah uh 10 point loss the bucks but they were in that game until the end until they called the same play three fucking times in a row um and then 38 20 packers which that's an aberration now the packers are fucking awful i think they won today but i didn't even pay attention to what happened to them do they win because i think so looked like complete shit so far the rams scored three points but they were starting oh my fucking god i think brett ripian started for them so Brett Rippian, oh yeah. mama. Well, Stetson yeah. Bennett is in like rehab at the moment, so <laughs> <laughs> like, they have no quarterbacks. <laughs> They're fucked. Yeah, it's uh not looking good for the Rams, which I was I was really hoping that they could at least be fun on offense and that Stafford could have a bounce back year we and then they lose the not fucking... happening. We all knew that was not happening. I know, but I like Stafford and I wanted to see him do well. But you know I just like I can relate to Matt Stafford seeing that person fall off the stage during his like victory celebration, then just turning <laughs> around and not doing anything. That's definitely something I would do. Uh, <laughs> I could definitely relate to that guy. Oh my god, Jay Cutler we... move as well. Cuddy definitely would have. Oh, dude. not given a shit. Cuddy, Cuddy's the type of guy. He'd be like the only person if somebody was having like an emergency in front of him. He'd be the only person not to help. <laughs> that's gonna oh yeah that's like, <laughs> somebody like fell the emer- yeah no dude yeah. you take advantage of the emergency to just uh-huh. like go get in the concession line <laughs> like it's all cleared out oh yeah. crowds are down dude he only he would only give blood for the free cookie at the end yeah, <laughs> yeah. true as much as we you hey, and I both it. love he's, him he's diabetic he needs yeah. sugar he, needs he does true i always forget that yeah yeah, I always forget that. Even though, like, he was very famously like fat the first couple of years he yeah. was here Dude, in Chicago. Fat Jay, Fat, fat Jay is Jay. my favorite. Fat Jay and Smoking Jay are my two favorite Chicago Bears quarterbacks. <laughs> I think they happened concurrently. To be honest, I don't know. Were they were they at the same time? I think there Maybe. was definitely some overlap because that was between that Fat Jay and Smoking Jay. I think there was Fat uh, Smoking Jay at, at yeah. some point. Cause the but the cigarettes got him got him slim, man. That's a thing. A lot of, lots of people smoke cigarettes and lose weight. So I think that maybe that's his secret. That's what got him off the fat. Yeah. Well, On you know, you gotta you gotta either like have a bunch of sugar or just smoke a bunch. You know, smoking you lose your appetite with. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. If you're if you're a big smoker, that's what I've, that's what I've heard. Yeah. I don't smoke cigs or anything, but I know I I have friends who I mean I'm just going off of nicotine, I guess. But people who like smoke you know, jewel or whatever. Um, they all like will say that like they don't have an appetite or some shit. Some sicko shit, you know, which is like yeah, you know, you can't really survive on just nicotine, so you should probably eat something in the no, day. It's also the worst thing you could possibly be consuming, generally. Yeah. Like, let me <laughs> inhale tar. tar. <laughs> I wanna do that <laughs> for the shittiest high one yeah. can imagine. I don't know That's if what I, I'm gonna do. I don't for the most part, my friends that I know that vape, I don't think say that to me, but I have had, like at least now, like my friends now, but in the past, I had people who definitely were like, yeah, you know, I don't need to eat today. I, I just, I, I smoke tar, you know, not actually yeah. saying that part, but it's just like, it's some real sicko shit. I'm like, it first of all, great. I love food. You know, you, you know me, I love yeah, food. We, we know, we know. <laughs> I love Andy food. loves his food. <laughs> but, uh. 
I I just couldn't imagine being like, yeah, this fucking thing that makes me like cough is better than like having a ham sandwich or something. I guess we're just better than them is what I'm trying to say. (laughs) Yeah, we are. We are superior. (laughs) I've I've never jeweled or, Mm -hmm. you know, done any of the, the vapes. You know, not <laughs> yeah. not including the marijuana's vapes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but What's that you know, <laughs> yeah. I have never had any of the the tobacco. Not tobacco. Jesus Christ. The nicotine vapes. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. I I have it? smoked. I have what smoked is a cigarette it? before, mm-hmm. and like Ooh. they're just fucking awful. They're awful. You smell yeah. like complete shit. You f- mm-hmm. you feel gross. Your mouth is disgusting. Like mm-hmm. it looks cool mm-hmm. in the moment, but that's it. I didn't yeah. like the rush, the nicotine. Like I hated that. Yeah, it just it was not for me. I don't like. I don't know. I don't really. I would have to agree. Like the you look cool in the moment, and this is the way I feel about vaping. I haven't done a cigarette um, at all. I probably should try one at least before. I pass away and you know uh, yeah. just so I could say that yeah. I do it but you'll, like you'll you'll feel gross you'll definitely yeah. feel disgusting yeah no I don't this whenever I walk it, cigars I think smell fine but cigarettes yeah. never smell good to me ever and yeah. I, I I I walk through Chicago and people are smoking that all the time and it's yeah, just really really rough um and even then like I feel really bad after after vaping yeah it doesn't times I've done it good. you easy yeah. fuck yeah, it no. really weaves you're inhaling bullshit into your blood. It's not good. Yeah, I had to like... stop doing that just because I'm like, this is t- fucking terrible for me. I'll just, I'll find edibles instead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you might, might as well just like eat fucking brownie and not yeah. worry about your lungs collapsing or whatever. Yeah. I do, uh, I do love a nice big fat bong rip though. A yeah. nice juicy bong rip with some ice in it. Oh, dude, lovely. I thought about I thought about buying like a pipe a, a few years ago, just so I could have yeah. some, or like a, <laughs> you just want to sit in your leather recliner and just like, puff on a fucking yeah. pipe. Because that's that's really the reason why I liked vaping at all. You know, when I was around my friends who would do it, and, you know, sometimes they'll give me a, a hit. I'm I'm 23, so I feel like it's not that bad to say, you know, that I sometimes vape. But like, <laughs> it's legal guys i'm not it's legal for me of anything. no and i'm only buying the ones that you can buy legally at the shady store near your house uh but you know i i don't even know what i was fucking saying anymore dude <laughs> that's a, yeah, that's how know. off track you're we just got buy, you're buying nicotine at bodegas so yeah I, I don't know dude i just the feeling that i get is just like it's just gross i don't know I don't need it. Yeah, no, it's a gross, wheezy kind of feeling. It's not good. It's not good. No, I'm sure it's gonna come out in like fucking ten years that people are just like having their lungs collapse from this shit. It's gonna be horrific. Oh yeah, dude. There was already a couple of uh, a thing. There was something a couple of years ago where people were having major chest issues. Yeah, teenagers were having major t- chest issues from it, and I don't know the exact sickness you could get, but I remember there was a kid that my buddy was friends with they were roommates and at school and they went and they got he went to like the hospital or to the nurse or something because his chest was like it felt like he was having a heart attack almost uh yeah. there's there's some sort of name for it uh especially too because i think the issue might have been with a lot of because there's a lot of fake vapes there's that would go around yeah. Oh, yeah and those are all terrible for you oh uh i mean not that vaping is good for you at all but those are really really bad for you and so he thought that he might have been like poisoned or ha- having a heart attack or whatever the case was um so yeah. I, I don't know where he got his shit this is when we were underage too yeah. so oh yeah i remember back in fucking before it was weed was even legal in illinois probably like 20 oh my god i probably was still in high school so like what 2016 2017 maybe even to 2018 getting these like shitty counterfeit like weed vapes called, like <laughs> dank vapes that were probably just full of pesticide and just bullshit yeah. this is gonna kill me we were, that's what we're all smoking these counterfeit fucking was it supreme it's like someone just scraping bullshit into a cart and then putting it in this like <laughs> knockoff package <laughs> and then get, get fucking selling it to a 16 year old like yeah. okay cool <laughs> Fucking for like forty bucks. I'm, I'm, certainly, I've done irreparable damage to my life. Oh yeah, dude. You know, yeah, good stuff. 
was it a uh, was it Supreme branded? No, these were not Supreme branded. Did they have cartoon those characters ones did exist, I believe. I remember <laughs> they they were all fake. Yeah, any of them that oh, had yeah. like any weird branding, those were fake. You know, those were made by SpongeBob. Guys. Some someone in a bathroom. Made oh yeah, that fucking vape cart. Yeah, oh. I <laughs> I think my buddy used to buy the Supreme vapes. I'm not gonna I lie. I remember them. I do remember them. Yeah. I, I don't think I ever smoked one, but I do remember seeing yeah. them. And then, like, I know people like got really. They would flaunt, you know, their SpongeBob branded weed oh cartridge or whatever. Yeah, it's like that is it's the same <laughs> bullshit. You're just, just having poison. Box. Yeah, you're it's literally ingesting poison. Yeah, you're just having fucking poison, dude. Like, I, I just never, I never really like got into that stuff. Like, I, you know weighed it for the most part like i mean it's legal here and then i never got into vaping until i was old enough and like you know weed was you know here nor there you know what i mean but i don't know people people would really be like hey buy my shit and then it was like <laughs> it was like 40 bucks for like <laughs> like a spongebob branded weed cart oh yeah they're so good Fun, like, probably like, like 60. On snapchat like yeah here's my story of 500 spongebob oh, dude dab carts oh god that shit was gross that shit was yeah. gross much like the football that the chicago bears play every week there we go transition yeah. back to you're the main master, <laughs> artist of this podcast. We're supposed to talk about the Bears at some point. So, yeah, well, they you just, know. Okay. The same thing that happens every week happened again. Yeah. Tyson Bajan had like four turnovers. Fuck, even DJ, Mo- DJ Moore got the ball stripped out of his hands yeah. at one point. Yeah. Did they end up turning the ball over five times? I think it was five times. It was yeah. Bad. Four it times was really by. Bad. We had by Tyson. So many opportunities to fucking win this game. Mm-hmm. Cole Komet had a good game. Jack Sanborn had a good game. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Fuck everything else. Oh, Deontay Foreman, he, he played pretty well. I still can't believe that that guy, we just DNP'd for like six straight weeks. I, yeah, well, that's just I, what happens to Deontay Foreman is that every year he does not play for the first five weeks and then he's like in good shape. He's ready to go, I guess. Yeah. Someone else gets injured, he comes in and then is amazing. And then yeah. he goes to another team and the exact same thing happens over again. Yeah. I I guess it, it helps us because it's just like we did have like a bunch of guys get hurt. And so it was like in the same game. And so it was nice that like we didn't <laughs> you know the backup were, running backs. Yeah, there wasn't another guy that like could get hurt, you know. Um but yeah, I don't know. It <laughs> I like him. He had a nice game. Komet, dude, Komet's game today was fucking awesome. Yeah, Komet's um, badass, dude. He's he is going off. He's worth that extension. Yeah, making us making us proud of Chicago. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's from. Uh, he went. Did he go to Notre Dame? He did go to he, Notre Dame. He went to Notre Dame. Yeah, uh, um, I think he was a Saint Viator guy. In yeah, he Chicago. played against your high school. We talked about that. Yeah, he did. I I, I believe it was St. Viator. Yeah, he's yeah. big Chicago Bear. Glad that he uh he's fucking actually living up to that price tag. Yeah. He's six yeah. six. What the he, fuck? Yes, he's fucking dude, he's six six two sixty five. I knew he, he was big. Threw, he tossed a linebacker today mm-hmm. like he was a child. <laughs> and then went and caught a touchdown. Yeah, like, he's a freak. I knew he was big, but I didn't realize that he was like that big, he is dude. Fucking jacked. Yeah, he's no. He's, he looks he... like Superman. Like the guy's a freak. He yeah. is absolutely huge. Yeah, he's had a very nice season. Um, especially yes. like I think... from a team that has perpetually just not really had good tight ends. You know, Kellen Davis oh, yeah. was the future at the position. Yeah, the for a future while. of the position for the <laughs> Chicago. But Kellen Davis, the uh, great. How yeah. could I ever forget about him as you were so <laughs> insulted that I could dare forget about the legend of Kellen Davis? Dude, he was great. I love, you know, he uh, he had like one good catch in a game near my birthday one year. And I was like, oh, this is the fucking dude. <laughs> yeah, he won your fucking heart. Do you remember then, Zach Miller destroying his fucking knee uh, on a I catch think, that was then not a catch? Dude, I think that also again. I think that catch also occurred near my birthday, too. Which is it was I think that could have been October ish time. Yeah. yeah. 
let's see. Updates on Bears tight ends recovery from foot surgery. Well, that was like <laughs> I don't need he doesn't play anymore, so that update apparently did you know Yeah, like he that was his last game was like twenty seventeen. Yeah, he has not played for a while. So I don't know why Google's just so fucking worthless. Um in the fourth game of twenty seventeen against the Vikings. Oh wait, no, I thought it was against the Saints. It was against the Saints in the Super oh, Bowl. October yes, 29th, 2017. Rem- oh, shit. Okay. That's crazy. October 29th, yeah, have, 2017. Dude, we have not beat the Saints in seven years, and it's going to be eight years now at a minimum. Yeah. That's I, crazy. It feels weird. It, like, it feels like we don't really ever play the Saints, though. I know, I know I we're mean, on that whole... NFC, so we play more frequently than the fucking AFC teams. I know, but, but I, yeah. I still feel like they don't, we don't, like they're a team that just like, we don't play, like play all that every often. Other year. Yeah, I, I'm sure right. we do. I know we played, I know Nick Foles played against them uh, in, oh my God. Drew Brees the Nick... second to last year. We almost won that game. That was the last time I think we played them. Like we're, our games with the Saints are always close. Yeah. We're always in them, and we always lose. Well, because I think we're the both we're the same level of mediocrity almost every every year. I'm they they had sure. a really nice run. They had a really nice run near the last couple of years of Breeze's career. Then obviously in the beginning, uh, but yeah. for the most part, the Saints. I mean, the Saints were like perpetually awful, you know, before Breeze, and then like now they're just mediocre yeah. as fuck. They're called the fucking Aints, bro. Yeah, that's where the they paper were bag historically is... shit. Yeah, that's where the paper bag shit started. Yeah, they fucking try to kill Archie Manning every game. Yeah. <laughs> His career. Or yeah. They trying to sentence him to death. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, dude. That's uh that was when football was played fucking rough, dude, too. Yeah. All it dude, all it did was make his nuts stronger. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna come back, my genes are gonna haunt you, mm-hmm. your children for generations to come. <laughs> I'm going to create, you know, the, my genes are going to create, th- you know, two, if not three now with Coop. Oh, wait, no, is it Arch? Who's the Arch fucking is, young? Is it Arch Coop? is Cooper's son. Okay, so it's Arch Arch again. Yes, okay, I couldn't his, remember. It's his grandson, and he's named yeah. after Archie. Yeah. Archibald. Okay. They're both named fucking Archibald, I believe, is their real <laughs> fucking name. Really? really? Yeah, which is, yeah, I think so. It's funny, dude. I always thought that it was, like, fucking... Uh, I don't know, like Arthur or something. Like I don't know, I don't know I'm why Archie. Sure fucking, I'm pretty sure it's Archibald. Okay. In the same way, Eli's is a light is Elijah, I believe. Right. That was Elijah. He yeah. never like nobody's ever called him that though. Like no, like he's always been. Oh, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Alicia Archibald made the third. That's what? Fuck. Alicia. That is so fucked. Yeah. So, but it's spelled Alicia e- Keys. This must be. This must be where Ooh. Eli gets its name from. Because it's E L I S H A. Oh, that's it's a really that's, fucked yeah. up way of doing it. That is a fucked up way of spelling. He's also way I younger know. than you would think. He's only seventy four. Yeah, he's not crazy old. No, I. He's as old as my grandpa would be if he didn't smoke cigarettes like every day of his life and then die. <laughs> <laughs> he was COPD. My grandpa's birthday was would have been two days ago. No, yesterday. Yesterday. But yeah. He's dead. He's dead. Archie's well, still kicking and the hey. strongest nut alive. I be- that man could still father a child that would go to be one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time at seventy four years of age. Mine's in the grave. <laughs> There are levels to this shit. There Dude, are... his fucking... He's just... He could fucking send that semen like a fucking... Yeah. <laughs> a spiral down that... Still, I guarantee you it's still <laughs> fires the vagina. Yeah. It still shoots out in insane Dude, velocity. If he tried, I'm sure it'd be, you know, just like a nice fucking... It'd be like a perfect pass, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, I was going to say, he probably shoots load out faster than he could ever throw a football. Like, if you could get a fucking, like, one of the, the police guns and t- in time his load flying by, he could probably hit 75 miles an hour. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure his, his, uh, his cock can really send that semen. <laughs> really great. <laughs> you know? <laughs> It'd be like Peyton throw to pass to fucking Marvin Harrison, dude. It'd just be like a yeah. fucking dynamic duo, you know, that semen yeah. and that <laughs> the fertilization, fertilization. Of the egg that is Marvin Harrison catching a deep bomb. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, dude. Oh, my God. Imagine, ima- like, I don't think this would happen. How old is the fucking Arch? Like, the kid Arch? Because it would he's be like amazing. Fucking 18. <laughs> like, he's a kid. He's real young. Okay. Because yeah. they're talking about him like he's the next fucking... Yeah, he's 18 years old. So I think he, I think he's going to start playing next year in college, I assume. Yeah, I mean, he skipped his senior year of high school to just go fuck around in college. It was very okay. bizarre. Oh, yeah, he's with the Longhorns. Dude, I don't know if this would, like... I mean, it's definitely not going to happen because Marvin Harrison's going to be junior is going to be in the uh, draft this year. But like, if they somehow play together in the NFL, just like Peyton and Marvin, dude. And I know he's, he's not Pey- he's not Peyton yeah, he's cool. not Peyton's kid, um, but still, just like kind of having that like family lineage connect, you know? Oh yeah, it'd be very uh, bizarre. Just as very long cool. as Marvin Harrison Junior. avoids the shit that his dad got into, you oh, know? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that would be great, especially because I want him to be a bear really bad. So the less trouble, the better. Yeah, um, dude, I would like Marvin Harrison Jr. Just get rid of our entire fucking coaching staff. Oh, yeah. Please. Yeah. No, oh this this team is, should not be allowed. They they shouldn't even be allowed. They should never have been allowed to hire anybody because everybody they hire just gets fired because of yeah, HR they're... reasons. Oh, my God. What in the fuck is going on? The Dude. culture is actually damn good. I, That's what's currently happening yeah. in this fucking team. I can't believe he fucking said that this week, dude. Like he, yeah. asked, I think he said the culture is awesome. Ever, ever yeah. did. But I can't believe that because, dude, that I hope that replaces the uh, the tree, like the in the tree montage. Oh yeah. Like I hope that replaces it. If I don't know if it was a recorded quote or anything though um i only ever saw like like text of it you know yeah but that was fucking nuts hr dismissal for like repeated some things that they did not disclose yeah it's uh like why do these fucking coaches keep showing the players their nut sacks like i don't (laughs) understand can we stop doing this shit do they know they have a do they know what like certain things on your computer are illegal or not like I yeah. it's it's amazing how like they don't understand. <laughs> Dude, are we like, ever gonna fucking hear about what happened to Alan Williams? Like is probably it ever not. gonna fucking come out? I wanna know what this guy fucking did. It was so insane. The rumors yeah. were like nothing I've ever heard before. Yeah. He and it's just, uh like trying to go totally quiet. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. It's uh he hired a fucking lawyer attorney yeah yeah never so a good sign. no it's never a good sign so i i doubt we'll hear anything until i don't know because there thus far has not seemed like there's like a court date or any you know like i no like we haven't heard any rumblings of that but like i'm sure it'll probably be i can't wait until we get you know the full there's definitely some report being written right now about the bears oh yeah i'm you sure know? dan weeder is typing up some fucking gold right now dude I'm sure I'm sure there's something coming down the pipe because I mean, even even Maybe the we'll uh, good Courtney Cronin piece. She's, yeah, she's dude. Always good stuff. I like her. She's yeah, she's really good. To be honest. Yeah, she's really good. She's an actual reporter. She's not like, yeah, some... she's the only one of the Bears media stooges that isn't a fucking stooge. No, she's not some like kiss up, you know, no. Um, but she's yeah. also not a fucking meatball, which we have a lot of Chicago meatballs. Hogue's pretty decent as well. I like. Her. Yeah, Hogue's she's good. Part. Hogue's good. I like Johns. Yeah, Hogue and Johns are both good. Decent. Yeah, Fishbane's good too. The athletic guys yeah. are good, but um, you, you know, you you have you have fucking David Kaplan, you know, who's just Hubbar Kush, biggest. Oh, dude, Hubbar Kush. Why the fuck did the world take my grandfather but leave <laughs> Hubbar Kush? I might have to fucking take this into my own hands. Sorry, just kidding. No one that's listening. It's not a threat. <laughs> I, dude, yeah. He uh his <laughs> I I think about that quote where he's like Justin Fields looks like a de- like a defeated man. I know, and then throws for the most passing yards of his career. <laughs> yeah. Like Hobbit just lives to be a fucking idiot. No, he just loves being a moron. Yeah, it's awesome. He's such a dipshit. Um uh, yeah, dude. I <laughs> I'm trying to think of anybody. I mean, we talked about Mike North last week. He's fucking bad. Um, Mike North is a fucking guy. <laughs> anybody what? listening? Anybody listening? Anybody listening? Your fucking dad is bad too. Don't act like your dad your isn't dad the biggest. Not know what the 
fuck he's talking about. Yeah, don't listen to your dad about anything. He fucking he's stupid when it comes to the Bears. <laughs> I, I don't care. Lying at the University of Illinois in 1983, so I know what I'm talking about, <sighs> dude. I, I was, was leaving. Up guard. I was leaving the Duncan drive-through today, or maybe it was yesterday. I was leaving the the drive-through and. Uh... <laughs> There's a car in front of me that had a University of Illinois sticker on one side, and on the left side it had Trump 2024. <laughs> nice. I was like, it's some it's of some of that makes sense. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why, but it makes sense for that to be the uh, match up there. It is a good match. So I both <laughs> orange. They've got some orange in them. Yeah. yeah. Well, I saw. He apparently... likes a blue suit. You know, I don't know. Left. I don't know if this was just the tagline of the sticker that I was looking at or if, like this is actually his actual tagline now, but like underneath it, it said the rules have changed, which I don't know what that means. Like what rules have changed? Like, like, fo- like you can't send him to jail, but I mean, dude, it, oh, it yeah. works. You could have called fucking Elizabeth Warren Sacagawea. The <laughs> I, there's, there's connections. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, true. I, it's still funny to me that they still don't have a mascot. It's been like 10 years. Uh, yeah, they just it's just the stupid eye. Uh, I don't know. And then like, ah, man, Trump, Trump being president from prison is going to be awesome. I just he's coming back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he he's going to be literally 47 and yeah. 45. That's going to it's just going to be insane. Yeah. And what's what's funny to keep this football related is like this could have all been avoided if he had just been allowed to buy the bills. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, he would have just fucked up into no, you know, fucked off into nothing, just being a fucking shitty NFL owner that gets to be racist all the time. He's gonna say some goofy shit about the national anthem again during the football. Oh yeah, he, he would always oh, yeah. talk about sports. Yeah, he well, you saw his. I showed you that video of uh, his office, right? Oh yeah, he had all his me- sports memorabilia floating around. He's a fan. He's a Patriots fan, I believe. Well, he he, he was a Patriots fan because he was friends with, uh, with Tommy. But yeah, I think with... he's friends with Bobby Kraft as well. Oh yeah, well, all those rich fucks, you know, who... billionaires—they all get jerked off by the same Asian women who are held yeah. <laughs> captive in the basement of a fucking massage parlor. Yeah, you know right. how it is. Yeah, no, like they're all—they're all part of that fucking ideal, you know. Um, I don't know. His his office at Trump Tower in New York is so funny because you'd like you. Oh, man, that video, he's he's like a hoarder. Like he just has all this shit. Is he? Yeah, dude. That makes sense. He he just like his whole office is like covered with shit. Like it's like there's like his desk, and then there's just like 18 tables with all of this shit. Like, and I don't think it's even like ornately done. It's not like fucking thrown together, but it's like it's definitely like just kind of oh, it's you ed- know, entered around. Like it's just like yeah, you just have have shit laying out all over the place, you know. Most uh, of these these images that we've seen off of his office come from that infamous image of like his taco bowl. Oh yeah, he's like, I too. love Mexicans. Yeah, like that's what this <laughs> image is from in your brain. He's like, I love Mexicans. I love know? my happy, Mexicans. Happy yeah. Cinco de Mayo. Here's the worst taco bowl in the world. It was made in Tower. I love my Mexicans. Here's my I, <laughs> yeah, fucking. Oh my god, dude! He's such a gross dude. I love it. He's such a fucking like he's a goon. Like he's he it, loves McDonald's, dude. He loves McDonald's. Yeah. Back like, to the Mike McCarthy Mcdonald's talk. Trump loves some fucking dude, McDonald's. That's why they, Americans voted for him. They can relate to a man that houses Big Macs, <laughs> and he does. Yeah. Uh, he he and Mike McCarthy would probably have a good, Jesus you know, Christ. This two hour, gracious. two hour conversation about, he does have shit everywhere. He's just got yeah. paintings on the floor. Yeah. Pictures and shit. Oh He's got God. like a WWE, WWE belt. belts. Oh, that makes sense. Well, he was on WWE. Yeah. Well, dude, cause he incredible. used to, he that used to clip like... of him slamming someone is amazing. Yeah. He that's used to be like Shaq shoes. Yeah. That's Shaq shoes. He had like, I think there's a Patriots helmet there. Next to a Jets helmet, which is weird. Uh, like that's a Jets helmet right there. You can get a better okay. view of it. This video is jo- Donald Trump's tour of his band head office for office for anybody. Wall Street Journal. Yeah, this is this Eight is before. Ago. Yeah, this is before 
that might have been a Bills jersey or Bills uh, helmet too. Like he had, he had a bunch of Tom Brady signed shit too. I think that's a Bills helmet that right is there. Bills, yeah, yeah, like Bills Jets. So what a what a good yeah, dude. I I would love to put him and Mike McCarthy and fucking Jerry Jones into a room just to hear how how long <laughs> and wheezy they would get about McDonald's. Oh my god, they would wax poetic about <laughs> fucking the secrets. Of the yeah, fucking uh man well we successfully not uh talked about the bears for like 20 minutes maybe we should say yeah. one more thing about them i don't know i i our defense is so unfun to watch but we did get the worst with... third down defense of all time i Dude. swear there's no one worse on third down yeah. in the history of football i than think this fucking defense it is incredible the fucking the third like a couple weeks ago the third down percentage that they gave up first downs on was 60 percent. it has to be higher at this point dude there's no, there's no way. Excuse me, like there's just no way. They gave it up, but on third we, down. I did want to say we got a new addition this week to the defense. Oh, uh, fucking sweaty Montez. Balls back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep. Montez Sweat. We traded a second rounder. Um, there was a question for a few days. He's a free agent or was a free agent after this year. There was a question for a few days on whether we would sign him, and it definitely seemed like. It was not out of the question that we didn't sign him to extension, uh, which would be a fucking disaster giving up a second uh, round pick and then not even getting, you know, only getting eight games on a team that's already, you know, in the shit Chase pool tier decision. <laughs> like, oh, my God. At least with Chase Claypool, he had a year and a half on his contract. He, I think. Yeah. But he also like destroyed the team dynamics at every given up. Oh yeah, no, there's there's no justifying that trade. But and they fucking, I've already seen it. Miami fans just fucking hate him beyond well anything they, we can comprehend already. They, I think they have a losing record with him. I don't think he has not won a game in over a year. I believe he personally <laughs> on all three of his teams, <laughs> they have not won games while he's been on. Yeah. Games that's pretty incredible because I think he was that infamous tweet that he says losing never heard of her and he has not won a game in a fucking year. Yeah, well, because I think he was DNP'd, he was DNP'd and then traded before the commanders game. Uh, yeah, so he what what was commanders game like the 15th, fourth, uh, fucking 13th or whatever. So yeah, they haven't won, they've won one game, but I doubt he played in it, and it was the Patriots. So he I don't was know. Not there on the Patriots. Yeah. Yeah. I still can't believe we were able to get rid of him for a pick. And it was a seventh rounder, but I still can't believe believe it. You know, like I, I can't believe anybody would want to fucking deal with that guy. Yeah. No, he's he's pure cancer. It's incredible how immature he is. Yeah, he had one catch in that game for 15 yards, so basically non-existent. I don't know. They played in Germany today, and uh, the Dolphins lost. So I got to see. Oh, nice. I wonder if Chase Claypool was. So like they they even... put the Chiefs, right? I fucking yeah. picked the Dolphins, I think. Yeah. I'm sure my picks were fucking straight shit. Yeah. So far, really so far, you are one and three. We're just waiting on the Bengals game. Nice. So you could be two and three. You know, still not good, but, but whatever. I don't no. really care. I really don't care about how well these yeah. picks do, to be we, perfectly honest. We didn't. Uh, I don't even pick bragging like, rights. The thing is, like half the time, I don't even pick like who I think is gonna win. I'll just go. Yeah, I just want. I'll just pick them because that'll yeah. be fun. Yeah. No, I, I don't know what I don't know what I'm motivated by when I'm picking these fucking teams. I should really well, do like a, we, like, uh, an analysis. Should we have a fucking a bet on it? I don't even know. Oh, like I think I feel like it's too late at this point. We are pretty late. Maybe we like, could institute that at some point. Maybe well, it's we like whoever for the playoffs. Yeah, have more fun. we could do something yeah. for the playoffs. Yeah, like whoever whoever wins, the other person has to buy pizza for or something. Yeah, we could do something like that. Something stupid. Or whoever loses has to sit in Denny's for how many picks they got wrong. Oh, and that's how many God. hours that's how many hours that they have to sit in the Denny's for, and then they have to eat oh. a waffle to get no. like if you like if you get like oh. eight picks wrong, you know, I'm bulking. <laughs> <laughs> Just sitting there eating fucking well, waffles. My thing is, there's no way I myself lost. I would do it. Like dropping me into a coma. Yeah. Well, uh, I see. The thing is, like, there's no way I could get you to do it, even if you lost. Like, you just, you just fucking lie to me. 
Uh, I, I'd so, have to go to a Waffle House because I live in Florida. Dude, I, I, I mean, Denny's are here, but like a Waffle House is way more authentic. Yeah, I'm sure it's better though, dude. Well, it, no, Waffle House food is pretty horrible, but like there's a certain <laughs> charm to it. Yeah, I gotta I go. Yeah, next time you're down here, I'll take you to a Waffle House. You'll, yeah, dude, I'll give people... you people. It's weird. We have to go at a weird time when the, all the Florida people are out. Well, what's so, because is it early they, morning? They close. Like early morning? Well, I mean, yeah, generally you go fucking 3 a.m. to a Waffle House. <laughs> dude, we got to do that. I got to come out sometime with a fucking, we go to Waffle That's the only thing I come out for, though. Like last time yeah. we went, I went to, we went to Disney and we went to the beach and shit. This time we're just going tormented at <laughs> Disney World. <laughs> no, fuck lost. that, dude. We're, we're fucking <laughs> lost because we're stupid. <laughs> Yeah, that's a it's still a painful memory, but um... oh my god, I remember having like a breakdown in the parking lot, just like <laughs> wanting to kill myself. It was so bad. It was like yeah, a we, low, yeah, an all time low. Yeah, we we lost the car when we went to Disney when I visited Jake in March, and Jake I think wanted to kill me. It was, it was a I wanted to kill myself. <laughs> it was so bad. He was already done with the Disney day, and uh, he just you know fucking. The worst, it was just like not being able to find the fucking car after all that shit too. Just oh uh, yeah, and so like we found it. The we both insisted too that we like, fucking, fucking trunk was wide open because I've been hitting the trunk button. <laughs> oh my god, it's so fucking <laughs> funny. I don't remember that part actually. That's funny. <laughs> I, I do. Remember, I remember like... that. But yeah, no, I've I've been like trying to hit like the the fucking. Button to like unlock the car and like get the, the horn to beep or whatever. Yeah. And when we found it, the fucking trunk was open because when I <laughs> we'd walk past the car and not noticed, I hit the fucking trunk button instead uh-huh. of the alarm button, and the fucking Dude. trunk opened and then it was just there. I gotta go back and find how many steps that I walked that day because like your oh phone, your phone keeps like keeps track of it, you know. I there's got to be like we pretty we were walking at a theme park all day, so it was probably pretty high, but then there's just a we're just like it's like 10 p.m. the and it's parking like, lot late. Where we're... It's just the parking lot, and it's so much Ugh. more than the fucking what we walked at the park, dude. Oh my god, I gotta find it now. I'm gonna go. It's a low because we went low. We went like March 13th. Yeah, we walked. So I ended up yeah. walking 18,000 steps that day, and yeah, you can see like it's What's so that translate to in miles. I have no fucking idea. I think that's. Because 10,000 steps is five, so I think it's about 10, 10 miles we walked that day. Oh, wow. Uh, let me make sure. And cardio, and I think there. the only thing I fucking ate all day, basically, was, was, was it... we ate McDonald's breakfast. <laughs> we had like, yeah, the only shit I fucking ate that entire day was we had McDonald's breakfast early as fuck yeah. before the, we went in. Yeah. And then I had like a fucking pretzel. While yeah. I was there. Oh yeah, That's it. dude. And we walked ten fucking miles. We walked like, ten miles. Oh my god. Well, yeah. I Let's burned see. all those fucking calories off <laughs> immediately. I think my, f- you know what happened, dude? Is I, we definitely walked more, but I think my phone died. I think my phone died at one point. Oh yeah, it did die at one point. Oh man. Because yeah, I was so charging. I charge charge remember. In the car. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. like you can see, I'm showing Jake the. I don't know if you can oh, really yeah. see it. But you can see all our steps. Like that's from like eight to nine. We walked a thousand steps and then it just my phone's dead so like we definitely probably oh, yeah. walked about twenty five thousand steps that day so we walked Jesus. over 10 miles easily fucking christ yeah so brutal. what a day so yeah Mont- <laughs> Claypool. i don't know where where yeah. we got lost there but definitely next time we got to just fucking take a picture of where we parked the car you know yeah that would that's pretty important that's kind of helpful out yeah Not i don't know why i didn't have a fucking idiot both of us were so fucking stupid. Not one <sighs> of us had the idea to think this is a huge parking lot. Maybe we should figure yeah. out where we're gonna be. I was like, no, dude, I know where it's at. I remember where we walked in. It's like, no, you should definitely you take don't. a picture. This is Disney. It's way bigger. It's than bigger you, than like, you think. Yeah. So fucking galaxy brained that one, dude. Yeah. What I don't it know. Is. It is what it is. <laughs> Montez sweat. Yeah, I don't know. He's jacked as fuck. Looked cool in the uniform. I don't know how much yeah. he actually did. Is what it is. It's the Bears. The Bears. Dude, they just showed Demar Hamlin during this game tonight. Oh man. So 
during remember the, uh... Demar, never forget. I can't believe that they put his they retired his jersey on the ambulance, dude. That's that's insane. Uh, that's, that's like weeks that's old at this point. Maddening. Yeah. I mean, I they should be proud, but that's also just like he didn't die. I, it's one thing if he passed away, but like, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's weird. That's a really they, weird thing to do. Saved him, bro. Yeah. Like, what about all the fucking players that are blowing their brains out from CT? Yeah. Well, and that are just like, currently getting... committing suicide. Like, what about Junior Seau, guys? Remember him? He's yeah. a casualty of the game that isn't fucking counted because it didn't happen on the field. Yeah. Well, to you know. The whole uh, Patrick Tillman thing that happens every year too. Oh, and that's yeah, that's not US really a football related thing, but kills him. Yeah, they they but just he, like to conveniently. Fuck. Yeah, it's horrible, dude. And they just you know the NFL as a whole just will conveniently forget or move on or not act like you know certain things yeah. happened. Not Patrick Tillman, you know, getting shot by his own kind or you know his own. Uh, you know, army. <laughs> that's a great turn of phrase. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> by his own, friendly by his fire. own bed, friendly fire, his own kind. But uh, like, they'll just like, they'll use him as like, oh, it's Veterans Day. You know, it's like whatever. You know, and they're like, yeah. Demar Hamlin is actually like, it, it shows how safe this game is because we have people here. All it's like, no, dude, people it's are are negatively affected by this. I mean, there's no way like Demar Hamlin. Like, I don't know. I don't want to say anything because he's uh, very. You know, obviously, you know, we're lucky that he didn't die that day. Uh, yeah. But he, there's definitely like he's de- I don't think he's really played this year. Like he's definitely like affected he's by a it. backup safety. Yeah, he's not even he wasn't a starter. Like he was just he's a guy in the NFL that something bad happened in a freaky yeah. thing. I'm like, yeah, I'm glad he's alive. But let's stop trying to parade him around in your PR campaign. It's kind of yeah. gross. Yeah, it, there's just I, again, there's just a lot of guys that they fucking do that for. It's like, dude, I don't know. I they just don't realize. I don't know. I I think the issue too is like a lot of people just don't fucking think through this shit. They're just like, I want to watch football, you know, or like I there's a guy who like fucking I you know, we used to know back over at my dad's house who had a Patrick Tillman jersey. And I always just thought that was fucked up. I don't know. Yeah. You know. Uh, he like he did not understand like the significance you know and like the friendly fire thing and you know the lack thereof i guess but uh yeah you know whatever fucking smoke weed every day <laughs> i don't want to nice transition bars, dude. out of this bars i don't on really bars on bars dude that's all what we do here shit can we talk about jim harbaugh yeah like, anything I mean... new with him Let's go well, with it, Jimmy. It seems like they it, they might have gotten Ohio like Ohio State might be involved now. Um uh, really? like yeah, Ryan Day might go to prison for it. <laughs> so that's kind of exciting. What? Yeah. Well, cuz really? I think like, like is are I, you just fucking with me or is No, like, dude, like... I'm serious. Like that's that's what Twitter was at least telling me. Cuz I think th- the oh, way okay. that like so, well, we know it is certain then. Okay. Let me let, <laughs> let me look it up cuz I don't want to I don't want to it's kind of confusing, but it seems like they cut, they might have hacked into Michigan's computers or something. Oh, what the fuck, really? Um, yeah, there's like some weird connection between. Oh, this uh, is fucking crazy. Yeah, it's it's really crazy. I mean that that Connor Stallions guy was just like dressing up as like <laughs> coaches, you know, and going outside. Like I can't believe nobody stopped that guy. Like he would just dress up as like a central central Michigan coach and then just like yeah. get on the sideline or whatever. Um, I just heard that he wrote like some 58 page manifesto on how to like he was going to take over the Michigan program at some yeah. point. Like, guys, well, apparently, he, yeah, he was a big fan. obsessed with Michigan football. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you know, almost psychotic degree. Mm-hmm. Not so, like us. Okay, apparently. Let's see. Reports surfaced Friday claiming that Michigan, along with the media, is looking into who the whistleblowers are that are leaking information about the situation to media outlets. It is believed that there are two private investigators tied into the matter, and Michigan has evidence that can link one of them to Timothy Day, the younger brother of Ohio State football head coach Ryan Day. And then the other one is apparently Day's other brother, Christopher, 
and they run a private investigation firm in their hometown. Um, some sources at the university allege that evidence pertaining to the investigation was illegally obtained by gaining access through a computer, specifically a spreadsheet showing the travel plans and expenses for Connor Stallions. So, I mean, wow. le- legitimately, like the days could go to prison, I think, for that. Um, because I don't, I don't think they had That's any sort insane. of right I mean, le- illegally obtained information. Yeah, well, it's because they're going to prison, but there's, there's going to be some. Yeah. Degree of punishment. Well, here's the thing, though, is they did that because Ryan Day's a fucking loser. That's, that's. Yeah. I mean, well, straight up, weaselly little fuck. Yeah, I mean, every Ohio State head coach is a fucking pos for the most part, but Ryan Day, oh. especially, is a fucking loser, and I don't think he's ever beat Harbaugh, at least not in like the last few years when oh. it's really counted. He- Beat Harbaugh, you know, during the Justin Fields run, and before yeah. that, I think Harbaugh he took over in 2016, right? Harbaugh, yeah, he was like 2015. 2015, and Harbaugh didn't beat Michigan until CJ Stroud's first year as a starter. That was after Justin Fields, mm. so that would have been 2021. Yeah, beat him two years in a row now. Yeah, well, because Day is also fifty four and six, and there was a, yeah, there was a, the one COVID year they did not play, so the last time they were they were beaten by Ohio State was twenty nineteen. Yeah, because because uh, no, I'm sneezing. I I, I'm a sneeze. that was something I meant to I meant to state earlier, but I sound like I'm sick, and I think I am. Um, yeah, at least I'm it's stuffed about that up. time, man. Yeah, I've it's... I've been stuffed up for like two week, two or three weeks now. Yeah, you're fucking I mean, Florida, dude. Rough. I know it sucks. It's just it's like being stuffed up when it's hot is just like I don't know how to describe how miserable I... that feels. I think you feel sicker, honestly. Like I... you feel worse. It's yeah. awful. It's just like because it's like normally I try to get hot. What you know, I try to like sweat or like take a hot shower or whatever. Like when you know, because it's like a nice change of pace from. Either yeah, being cold, cold for being sick or being cold from the the weather outside, but like fucking when you're when it's just hot all the time, it's like impossible to like ever catch a break, and you're just fucking shit's coming out your yeah. nose, dude. It's fucking awful. It sucks balls. Yeah, so it's about that time that you know the season's starting to shift into more wintry vibes. Into fall, baby. Let's go. Woo. Well, it's well, honestly, I mean, yeah, it's, it's getting re- colder. It's deep fall. It's the real. Yeah, shit. it's and it's like, it, and then it becomes winter in about. Yeah, well, because like it, for you guys, yeah. I was, I mean, part of it too is like, so I got my shots. It's cold as shit, though. It's cold here. Uh, it was cold here this week, um, and then like two weeks ago, I got. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It could be a combination. About two weeks ago, I got my shots. So I got my COVID and my flu shot. Right. And I also I, oh, yeah. I travel into the city every day on a train and there's people fucking hacking up the oh, lungs yeah. of that, people that shit everywhere. Yeah. But like I was fine on Monday. Kissing on you. It's great. Yeah. It's You're awesome. Fighting off migrants in the tent city. <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. I uh Monday was fine. Tuesday was my off day. And Tuesday I was fine. And then like it snowed. And then I woke up Wednesday. I was I've just been stuffed up since Wednesday. So I like Friday I went to work and I was like, I'm buying like I, I didn't think of to do this before but i was like i'm buying fucking cough medicine i like i can't fucking take it because i was just my i've been feeling better since i've been taking it i'm still stuffed up stuffed up my throat was dry and it felt like i was like i had a sore throat you know oh it's the worst Uh, yeah gotta get some cough drops and then the nyquil day quill combo is yeah goes hard yeah, it's it's more like I'm not actually sick. Like I went to work today and everything, and like I don't have a fever yeah. or anything. It's more just like you're. It's just fucking annoying. Like you are sicker. It's just this gross congested feeling. You're just, yeah, and then yeah, you're like leaking just, all the time. It just, it's just I, I feel like that kid. I feel like that kid in the Kleenex commercial. You know, like those? Like, oh, like, was, yeah. you know, was it like the kid with the mucinex booger? Yeah. He's yeah. fucking nose, and he's just, oh my god. He's got the big red schnoz. Oh disgusting disgusting little boy (laughs) just a gross little little man perfect tissues that are moisturizer and them moisturizer so my nose doesn't dry out yeah oh precious little boy (laughs) oh i gotta go make him some soup i gotta go make him some soup give us a kleenex soup some delicious brothy lipton soup it's shitty as fuck 
that's just what you want. I've been having Lipton, Lipton seven tea. Up. It's all good. Lipton yeah. goes hard, bro. I've been doing some Lipton iced tea because of my throat. You know, you're supposed to have yeah. hot water. Nice. And it's like it's weird to just drink hot water. You know, like I, I was like, I kind of wanted to do that. I kind of wanted to just do that because it would make my throat feel better. But I was like, that's weird. Like that's actually like sicko shit. You know, like that's it somebody eating sicko. That's somebody eating meat raw. You know, and the least I could do is put some like fucking broth in it. Literally, just put broth in it. It's good. You could just drink yeah. broth. You don't even need to fucking put like meat or soup in it. Yeah, just noodles. Just drink fucking broth. It's good. <laughs> yeah. I didn't. I don't know if I had any soup this week. Probably not. I did have some shrimp that had some like brothy shit to it today, but like that's not really the same thing at all. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna start I, a new campaign. Remember like the get milk ads? I'm just <laughs> get broth. Broth. I <laughs> just drink <laughs> broth. I'm gonna take it off full page ad in the New York Times that just says drink broth. Did you ever help me you... do- donate to our Patreon so I can take it a full page ad in the New York Times? Says, oh my god, broth. Ugh. Dude, we get a Patreon. We have to do a second episode of this shit, <laughs> you know, so we can justify it. I think we're gonna kill ourselves. Oh God, no! Oh, no. <laughs> well, I would kill myself. But yeah, hey, it'd be worth that one. It'd be that worth one it for the ad, baby. That would like and subscribe, folks. That one would be like, <laughs> like, yeah, like and subscribe, everyone. No, that one would be like. For sure, no bears talk because we wouldn't be able to do two fucking episodes of the bears. No, you know, I can't. we're barely are talking. We're gonna have to pivot this podcast. Soon. No, this I'm is like kill my. It's agonizing yeah. talking about. This. I think we should still keep it as an NFL podcast just for the SEO, yeah. but like just have it just be a just piss everybody off and like just yeah, we could just be trigger the NFL. Here you go. I I was gonna ask you this, and here's a way we could trigger people who are listening and make sure they don't listen again, or maybe we like bring okay. in a whole new subsection of fans. With those got milk abs, did you ever got milk ads? Did you ever think that the milk on top of their mouths looked like cum? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think that's what they were kind of going for. It was kind of yeah. supposed to be suggestive and weird, okay. but like a very niche way. Yeah, There's, there was someone on that campaign who was jerking off too much. Oh, dude, they were like too much. Getting there was cum... someone who was influential in that campaign yeah. who was jerking off too much. There's somebody who was like, damn, bro, this fucking picture of LeBron with cut, like milk on his face is so fucking hot. Yeah. I don't know if LeBron I, I ever was one. Someone is beat off to, to a got milk ad. And that's, oh, a sad, that's a sad, sick thought. I mean, they like, have some people have done it. They have some pretty women in there. So, like, I can't. Oh, yeah. I just found one with Taylor Swift. That's I'm sure someone awesome. beat off to the LeBron one. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. <laughs> there's some sickos out there. There's going to be. Yeah, there's got to be people who are like really attracted to like LeBron now with like no hair, you know. Oh yeah, that's definitely a fetish. Like some some dudes really love the the bald guys. Yeah, Maybe I just don't think Johnson's LeBron. One. one of yeah. the funniest things that Charles Barkley says is like Michael Jordan isn't handsome; he's just rich. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's that so is a funny. Funny thing. But I don't know, even still, I think Michael Jordan's pretty decent looking. He's not like oh, he's not ugly. Yeah, he's not movie star good looking, but he is like he's tall as shit. Yeah, he's, he's and, you know, he was fit. He's still pretty. He was super fit. He's now he's got a, kind of a dad bod, but yeah. Well, he's got a yeah. His he's I don't think he's like fat by any means. He's now. got a he's decent face. Yeah, you know, looks good. He's got, bald. He's got yellow yeah, eyes. Earrings still. He's got yellow eyes. He's got jaundice <laughs> and shit. It's all good. Smokes like eight hundred cigars a day. It's yeah, cool. It's cool touchdown bangles yeah he's uh he's just sold the hornets for like a billion yeah, dollars to go fuck off even more he's tired of that team being inept well it's just like man when he's you gonna go just... race cars that's all he wants to do now i think he has like literally owns part of a nascar team yeah he's gonna go just fuck around with nascar well he was getting so much i mean honestly he probably should because it's, it's probably a better idea than trying to run an nba team because he was so bad at it yeah like his yeah his tenure with the Hornets is actually like, especially as when he was GM. Shit. Yeah, yeah, it was like really the only like really good player that they ever drafted. They had like two good players. They drafted Kemba Walker, who was never really like top 20. Like he was top 30, 40, but like that doesn't really move the needle. And then yeah, LaMelo, yeah. who is He's fine. Good, but eh. yeah, like he doesn't play it's defense. Like... I really like. I don't watch the NBA at all, but I'm a yeah. Luca guy. Luca's always been fun. Yeah, yeah. I remember you telling me you really like watching Luca about like two years ago. He yeah. uh, he has a fucking, <laughs> you know, a fucking. Uh, 
awesome teammate with him right now. <laughs> really, really fun guy. To, <laughs> that to is the, one of those Kyrie. It's just the most talk radioactive fucking player in the NBA. It's insane that anyone gives him a <laughs> shot ever. I think there is some joke about him when he got traded to Dallas about him. He was like, yeah, has anybody talked to Kyrie? It's like, oh, no, he said he was going to go. He's going to go investigate something. And it was just like finding him at <laughs> the JFK assassination. Like, oh you, like just try to figure things out. You know, that was like one of the, the memes that came out of that. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure this shit out, man. Yeah, he's Kyrie's fucking galaxy brained to no end, dude. He actually I thought he was always joking about the flat earth stuff, but I think he's actually real about it no well that that's a guy who's so talented that like no one has ever told him to shut the yeah fuck up yeah and so he just has this insane complex now oh yeah yeah he, he's he beyond just, saving you cannot help that guy anymore i mean a lot of these guys like get discovered in like middle school and like their whole kind of from that point on like after puberty you know during puberty and then like you know early high school like it's all about basically getting to the league you know and so everybody's trying to you know serve you Brian. Or, yeah like well a lot of people are trying to kiss up to you and like for for what it's worth like i think the braun actually for somebody who has been in the spotlight since he was like 14 has actually become well acclimated you know he's, he's incredibly he's media trained well adjusted yeah no but honestly lebron's a pretty decent guy all things yeah considered. No, dude. It's, you know, I know yeah. everyone likes to shit on him, but like he could be a way worse human dude. being. LeBron, like in his position, he could be an all-time scumbag, and he is. Oh yeah. I mean, I love you know everybody loved Kobe, but he that but guy he had scumbag. some. He yeah, he scumbag. had some fucking bodies in his closet. You know, like yeah, like he was a scumbag. Fucking you know, Dwight Howard's Howard's a big scumbag right now. Fucking or, you know, a was scumbag. Always... Like they oh, all, yeah. you know, they've all got that element to them. Yeah. LeBron, but for Le- the most part, LeBron doesn't really. He's the only chill. The only bad thing about him really was the the, the decision. Like that was the worst thing that he ever did so yeah. far. Um, so it could be a lot worse. I mean, even KD and destroying the Lakers by trying to be their general manager <laughs> yeah. as well. That's not yeah. good. Yeah, <laughs> even KD forgets to switch his burner. You know, like LeBron oh doesn't God. do that. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> it's so funny. I love that it. That guy is just. I don't. How can he he's just him. a poster like us dude he's just like us he i don't even post i lurk i know, I know. this fucking guy's getting an argument yeah he forgets which account which account he's fucking posting dude, from i've got nothing going on and i don't <sighs> have time to get in conversations with these idiots yeah with he's these kevin durant and he's fucking arguing with yeah. people online this dude it's makes a like, hundred million a year you know you like prioritize what's going on in your life you need to yeah. find out what's important to you kevin <laughs> I don't know if he ever Jeez, got married. Man. I think because no way. I that think he was engaged. He was engaged for a while though to some WNBA woman. Oh wow, he had a good game today. He's got to flake out on that. Oh yeah, like I I don't think the the engagement lasted very long. Um, it was OKC days too. Oh yeah. So it's been a while since he's even been connected to anybody. I gotta imagine it's just hard to date somebody that tall too. Like I don't know. Well, and I mean, that gangly like too. Three. Yeah, I mean, if she's a WNBA player, she's probably like six foot fucking three. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's six eleven, right? Yeah, and, and he's like a somewhat uh, normal height difference. I'm pretty sure. Zero. Pretty sure he weighs less than you too. I don't think so, but <laughs> he is fucking stick thin. Yeah, so he was briefly engaged to Monica Wright in like 2013. And she is five ten. So, okay. So, ooh, yeah. That's that yeah. is a big difference. That's a foot. Oh well, she's thirty five, and he. So is... I guess that's that's the difference between me and the average woman. Yeah. That's fucked. Yeah. Thinking about that, goddamn. Yeah. I mean, like it's different though because Kevin. I mean, you can make it work. I think like two, like six three, six four, like what you're at. You know, and like a woman who's like five two, five three. Like I don't think like it's. It's still like cute. It's not weird, you know, because yeah. like you're not touching the fucking top of the fucking building, you know, the ceiling and shit, you know, and like, yeah, you're also like Kevin Durant is so fucking skinny, dude. Like, have you seen the pictures of him and Wemba Nyama, dude, next to each other? That oh is- no, I have, I have not seen them. Wemba Nyama is freaky. Yeah, he's seven four. Like, he does not make any sense. He's a foot fucking taller than me. 
Yeah, madness. he. A yeah. Mad, it's madness. Yeah, that's scary, dude. He's that like, is hellacious. That's a he, tough life, honestly. Yeah. He looks down at Shaq, dude. Like that's that's crazy. Yeah. Like Kevin Durant is six ten, and Wembenyama is fucking seven four. That's how much of the different. Like, there's pictures of them like right next to each other. Like this one. This is fucking crazy as fuck. Yeah. That is just so disconcerting. He, he might actually Wembenyama might actually be an alien, dude. Like that. It's freakish as fuck. Yeah, it's, I mean. Yao Ming was really big too, but Yao Ming wasn't like that. Yao that Ming was skinny. fucking jacked. Yeah, he was big. He was a big guy, and he was like filled out. That guy's uh, a freak as well. I, the yeah. Chinese government has been injecting hormones into that guy. It's well, like, yeah, that's he's not like the best example to say that aliens or genetically modified people don't exist because there is a whole rumor that he was like genetically modified by them. Uh, yeah. Cause it's like there's no, there's never been anybody since, you know. I don't know what that it's program's funny. called, but it's some. Program. I'm sure they got a bunch of them chained up in a basement somewhere, oh, ready yeah. to fucking unleash hell upon us. It's the uh, secret soldier, super soldier, fucking serum. You know the Captain America shit. When our gov- when our government finally goes into credit default with China, which will yeah. never fucking happen, yeah, he'll unleash the Yao Ming army. He'll, he'll come out <laughs> on a fucking Clydesdale. <laughs> Dude, to murder us all. It's the uh, it's the Walt Disney. You know he's in a he's frozen. You know, but but beneath Disneyland thing, but it's Yao Ming. You know, like they cryogenically freeze Yao Ming. Oh my god! <laughs> and then use that, him in the future. No, no. future <laughs> Yao, like RoboCop Yao Ming. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they do in the future if we're ever in war with them. Not that I'm advocating for that, but this is just we're yeah, no, we would here. Lose. It'd be bad. Yeah, it'd be. <laughs> I'll it'd just be... say that inflammatory comment to lose yeah. more listeners that aren't here. It'd be Oppenheimer, but like against us, you know. Yeah. So there you go. There you go for anybody who's uh, still listening. Get really sad about stuff. All right, Browns Ravens. Are these the picks? Yeah. <laughs> Let me just go. Browns Ravens. <laughs> uh, we got an hour. We're good. I'm gonna pick the Ravens, yo. Yeah, I'll pick the Ravens too. Fuck the Browns, dude. Fuck every time Deshaun Watson is out there, somebody else gets hurt because they're paying. They're paying the price for the sin that they committed by signing him to an extension. Oh my, that is one of the worst deals of all time. It's dude, insanely bad. He's just he's fucking a wet blanket. That's also a criminal. He is ass right now. Yeah. What is going on? He is straight fucking ass. And I hope he never turns it around. It's yeah, it's, it's hard for me because he, he he was insanely talented, dude. He was really good. He threw for he almost five thousand so yards. I yeah. know that play where he got kicked in the fucking eye and threw a touchdown was madness. Yeah. Dude, I he he's an all time talent, but he's a piece of shit. He's an all time piece of shit, dude. He is so. an all fucking Hall of Fame piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, Hall of Fame Robin Tug guy. Also, you know yeah. our guys Donnie and uh, Bobby. Also Robin <laughs> Tug guys. Oh, dude, big fans. Um, all right, 49ers, Jags. I'm thinking my Jags. All right, I'll go with the 49ers. Feels like they need to turn around it pretty soon. They've been shitting them. They're, the shit has been running down their leg for how many weeks now? They had like a three game losing streak. Yeah, that's a that's a long skid. Yeah, from undefeated <laughs> to lose three games in a row. They yeah. lose another game. They're almost fucking five hundred again. Yeah, like it's not good. I think they were in bye this week, and I think the Hawks lost. So like, I think they ended yeah, up. The kind Hawks of... got their ass is clapped today. Dude, was that really was good. yeah, that was rough. That was a rough loss to, for them, but there's I mean the 49ers are talented. They just have to get healthy. That's yeah, all. They just get their shit together. Yeah. All right. Uh Texans Bengals. I'm taking the Bengals. All right. I will go with the Bengals too. Joe, yeah, no, Joe Burrow has played out his minimum four game look like absolute dog shit yeah. at the beginning of the season. <laughs> so now he's good again. Yeah. Now he's like fucking Tom Brady again. So yeah. it's good. Yeah. He's just, you know, he's got to get out the uh, jitters, you know. He always like, sucks complete shit. Oh, dude. He's always so bad. Month of the year. It doesn't make any sense. No. And then this he's year... the fucking best in the NFL. It's so crazy. 
this year you could make the case that it was you know it was because he was injured, but his leg was fucked up. Yeah. yeah. But like all of a sudden, like his injury just went away in October. It, it immediately, was weird. and then he's fucking running for sixty yards. Like, yeah, what it is doesn't that make thing? any sense. All right, uh, Lions Chargers. Oh my god, I'm gonna take the, uh, the Lions. I'm taking the Lions. Fuck the Chargers. I fucking that team sucks. Oh yeah, you fucking hate the Chargers. I forgot about your vendetta against yeah. the Chargers. They also don't deserve shit though, too. Like they fucking suck, dude. I love Justin Herbert. I, I love know. him. But... They've drafted three like Hall of Fame talent quarterbacks in a row and have fucked all of them. They'll never win a Super Bowl. No. They literally drafted Drew Brees, Phillip Rivers, and Justin Herbert. Well, Those dude, are their last three quarterbacks. Yeah. They also and they're all getting fucked. They also technically drafted Eli Manning, obviously. Yeah, that's fucking crazy as well. And then Dan Fouts was there before them. Yeah, so they've had an insane amount of good fortune yeah, at the dude, quarterback position. It's, and it's all been for nothing. It's the Packers without the two Super Bowls. You know? Or the Colts without the one. Yeah. Oh my you know? god. That one Super Bowl fucking they needed against that the Bears. One. Yeah, desperately. You know, against the shitty fucking Bears. Yeah, that's it. Still, almost didn't win. You know, like we're know. you know we're losing to us. Tom was really punking absolutely everyone for decades. <laughs> <laughs> My king, what a Chad, Florida uh, man. Uh. All right, Raiders, Jets. <sighs> fuck, fuck the Raiders. That Josh McDaniels firing story is hilarious. So if good, it's dude. real. Oh, okay. the one are you talking about the one? Yeah, the they fucking fortune cookie. I didn't hear that one. I heard the one where they uh they like got into a room and all the players yelled at him. Oh god, I didn't hear about that one. No, I didn't I, I didn't hear I heard that I have no idea if this is true or not, but I heard that Josh McDaniels is a big Halloween guy. Yeah, and after getting blown, like getting their shit yeah. stuffed in the week, like that game, he came in dressed up like uh, the owner of the team, uh, Mark Davis. Mark fucking Davis. He came up dressed like him for Halloween. Yeah, and Mark Davis then took him. He he laughed at it and said, "Oh, we got to complete the outfit." And they went to go get some fucking PF Changs. Yeah, because that's his thing. That's Mark. Mark Davis eats the fucking PF Changs every day. Uh huh. Very odd. And in the fortune cookie the, of the meal at PF Chang's, it said you're fired. <laughs> I did see that. I, I don't, don't know if that's I real at all, but I don't think it's I real. Want I, it to be. I he, want it to be. It so sounds badly. like it could be real. Like it's that plausible. It's um, it is plausible, but implausible at the same yeah. time. I think that's I a PFT be, joke. I'm it pretty sure it probably is. It probably is, but I yeah. won't believe it. Yeah. What what does it hurt me if yeah. I do believe it? No, McDaniel's doesn't deserve. I, we all manufacture our own realities in some way. Yeah, this, I'm gonna fucking fold this into mine. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go with the Raiders just because. But uh, yeah, I uh... oh, I have not picked what it was Raiders Jets. Fuck. Yeah, uh, I'll I'll take the Jets. I'll go the opposite. Fuck it. All right, I'll do Raiders. Whatever. New coach, uh, you know, vibes. They should have kept. They should have stayed with Passaccia, but... Uh, yeah, they fucked that one up badly. Yeah. But uh, I was going to say, that I did see... So I think that... I'm pretty sure that story's fake. Still However, paying McDaniels, by the way. Oh, Sorry yeah. he to cut you off, but they're paying the... him for another four fucking years. He's going to fuck off. <laughs> he's going to fuck off like like uh, Kingsbury is. He's going to go get jerked off in some rub and tug. It's but, insane, you know, dude. Like, not it's so funny. Side. He's going to fucking Thailand. Like, they they make less money, but it's so funny that they like completely guarantee these... Uh, coach contracts. I know. because they guarantee coach contracts, and they don't guarantee player contracts. Well, it's the like guys who will actually get fucking injured. If you're giving, if you're giving, I, it's more than likely, you know, you're, if you're giving. I know it's not every player. Like a lot of players are just kind of in and out of the league. But like, if you're giving a quarterback, you know, a contract, he's gonna probably be there longer than your head coach. You know, or at least like he deserves hopefully more of the guaranteed money i don't know it's just it's funny because it's just like kingsbury's just like fucking off in thailand because he's getting paid for the next five years like it's so you know like fucking mcdaniels probably won't do shit like I, he might go he'll probably go back to the patriots because that's how it works but yeah. you know 
whatever. I'm gonna go with the Raiders, but yeah, fuck McDaniel's. I th- I did see a story though that like everybody just yelled at him in a meeting. Um, so told funny. them how much of a piece of shit he was. That one's probably real. Uh, He's but, yeah. fucking horrible. That guy sucks. He'll never. Get, I hope he never gets. He probably will never get another. I cannot believe head coach job. He got a head coaching. I, why did anyone give him a head coaching job again? I don't know. The debacle in Denver. I mean, he technically had three, dude, because he got hired by the Colts and then he, he yeah, uh, and then he fucking bailed. Fucked to off. Back to the yeah, yeah. So I don't know. He uh, we'll never hear from him again. He'll be like, he'll probably be a Patriots OC, but like Bill O'Brien's there now, and I don't see Bill O'Brien leaving. For the, yeah, I mean, I I don't see Belichick firing him. I don't see Belichick leaving. I don't no. know. There's a rumor that Belichick could be a Commanders coach, which is kind of funny. I don't think he would do that. That I think that might be also a PFT. He's just trying to dream <laughs> that up. I can't believe people but are believing PFT. Would PFT believe it. Is incredible. Yeah, he just gets all this shit that just becomes like people actually believe for like more He's than an hour. He's such a good troll. He's yeah. such a good troll. He was at the fucking. Did you see this? The Iowa Hawkeye game that was at <laughs> at Wrigley Field this week against Northwestern. No, I I heard about like, it going into it. It was a <laughs> shit bowl, a complete fucking yeah. disaster. As it, it was like be. it was like zero zero going into the fourth quarter. Holy fuck! Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. and then the final <laughs> score. The final score. <laughs> the final score was ten seven Hawkeyes. But get this, dude. The Cubs. There's a game at the Wrigley Field at Wrigley Field this year. The Cubs scored twenty, and the Reds scored nine. So there's there's a game that scored more points than game. this football game. <laughs> That's so, so fuck. Yeah, oh it is. God. It is just sicko shit. It, like <laughs> it is, um, I love it. It's so. <laughs> this is the last year that the Big Ten's doing divisions because they're adding so many teams next year, and like the Hawkeyes actually have a legitimate chance to be con- like. Like it's gonna be the last game of the season that's gonna matter. The Big Ten is Ohio State versus Michigan. That's gonna decide the Big Ten championship because oh, yeah. the actual Big Ten championship will be Michigan or Ohio State against the yeah. Iowa Hawkeyes, dude. I know it's fucking crazy. It's awesome. I love. I love. I like. I'm gonna be so sad when like the Hawkeyes can't just like luck into a fucking championship game you know like Hawkeyes it's so really, funny they, they are such a bears team that's why i love bringing them up dude they're so yeah. funny i mean it's, i have a buddy who goes up there too but it is the most yeah. bears football team. to be a fan of like either of these teams you have to be a real fucking sicko you have oh. to be a deranged well, person that's... there's also just similarities in the way they play like good defense usually yeah. like we don't have well, a good defense this year not but now no or during the flu's rain we'll get an offensive coordinator who will Good running defense. backs, good running backs, and then awful coaches and awful quarterbacks. Oh my god! Yeah. They usually have a good offensive line, which is usually what separates them from us. Yeah, our offensive lines almost invariably shit. We did they have an Iowa today, but they were holding constantly, which is kind of yeah. fucking annoying. But... Well, I don't know. I hot take, but they should they should you know go to the side that Jenkins and right are on because that's the actual good side. You yeah, know? pretty crazy. Pretty crazy that there, they get more yards going that way than they go fucking too. Like I saw that they took out Braxton Jones in, like the last couple plays just for Larry Borum to get fucking attacked. Flatlined. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's just such a fucking this this fucking stupid ass coaching staff does that all the time. Can we just run off Tev already? Like just run behind him. I don't know. It's just so stupid. He's a fucking tank of a man. He, I don't great. care how many I mean, times you do it. Just, Tris- do it until it's, until it stops working. That's all I want. That's all I'm asking for. Yeah. Ooh, nice play by. Ooh, touchdown, bro. Dude, he's back, dude. Toby. Bagels are back. Yeah, he, he just had a nice little back. extension. I don't know if that's going to be a touchdown, but that's definitely a couple. I mean, he almost got sacked. He had a first down. So, fucking, he's, man, when he's going right, though, dude, when they, when they give him the, uh, oh, he went out of bounds. So it's not a touchdown, but it's a first down. When they, when when Joe Burrow's going right, and he you know they give him the German steroids or whatever that they do to him. Oh yeah, fucking, he's so fun. He's so fun to watch, dude. He just has he's like this. Shit. He has like this like inevitability. Like he can just heat up from like throw one too. Oh yeah, he's so cool. I mean, he's I want to be like Joe Burrow, guys. <laughs> <laughs> he's just so cool. Uh, is he married? 
Uh, you know. No, but he's drowning in pussy. That's for sure. Oh, dude, there's no chance he's not in his. Every like, he's probably still has a Star Wars bedspread. He's just fucking oh. spreading out these models. Do you think he had a race car bed at some point? I feel like he could have. Yeah, definitely. I feel like this. He's like kind of a dude. Like, I mean, this was true of him in college. Like, he kind of like, you know, sprouted late. You know, I don't know if like that actually happened to him, but like just the look, he has the look of a former fat kid, you know, kind of does. Yeah. Just a thumb. He looks like a thumb sometimes too. A thumb. Like he's a good looking guy, but he looks like a thumb. He is. Yeah. He is a good looking guy, but there is just like some level of goofiness to him. Some Mm -hmm. like. Yeah. Maybe he's got Touch like some, he's, like uh-huh. spectrumy weird. I don't know. <laughs> like maybe he's like fucking on the spectrum, slightly fucked. But... Yeah. He, well, like he know. he always stays at like one level too. Oh, that's yeah. a touchdown, dude. That's definitely a touchdown. Oh, he dropped it. God damn it. Jamar had a touchdown that he dropped it. It was a tough play though. But I don't know. I like him. He's funny. He uh. Maybe he's just like that, dude. Maybe he's just cool. Maybe he's just a cool guy, man. He's just authentic. No, it takes a level of like true self, man. Psychosis, fucking, you know, spectrum autism, I think, to be in a position to like be that. A good, to, be, to be a good quarterback, <laughs> you need to kind of have that like yeah. Yeah. autism y yeah. fetishization of a well, game. Dude, you have to, to memorize, like under- you literally have to memorize like drawings. Like, that's yeah, what your job is. Your fucking job is to memorize drawings. <laughs> <laughs> dude and then fucking... recites like 400 word fucking play yeah. calls while oh my the God. entire world is screaming at you yeah and just drown it all out and only do your own shit just make it all about yeah. you <laughs> make it all Pretty about much. you <laughs> this is my show this is my show and it's my i call the shots it's my toy jamar chase is my toy nobody else get him <laughs> yeah so fucking uh i love football i also hate it yeah, it's <sighs> dude. I was gonna okay. The one thing we do have to mention while we're wrapping up: Panthers Bears on Thursday. I can't fucking wait. Oh my god, what a shit show! Did they play th- today, or are they on a bye? I think they played today. I don't know if they won. Did they get their ass clapped? <laughs> they were playing the Colts. Oh yeah, they lost by two touchdowns. So we're well well on the way to having the number one pick all again, cool. even if it's not ours. <laughs> Yeah, it's so crazy. They're so fun. <laughs> oh my god, oh. they are in dire straits. It must oh, suck dude. ass being it's... them, knowing they don't have any. They don't have a fucking first round pick. They don't have DJ Moore. Yeah, they're fucked. They're Frank giving Reich. their. They're giving possibly the first overall pick. To it's us. gonna be so funny. I I love that we get to play them the year that like we have their first overall pick. It's crazy, and Jeff Fields might play. Yeah, no, there's a chance he might play, he dude. Might play. I hope he oh. does, man. I, I want to see him play. Can our guy I, be back for Fox's sake? I just want our guy to win. I know. I, cool. I, had a, I have to fight with people at work over fields all the time, dude. I don't like oh, doing God. it. I just It makes me want to kill myself. I can't do it. I was like, did you guys, did you guys not watch him throw two, two, four touchdown games in a row? Like, do you guys just forget that against two pretty good defenses? Did we not watch Tyson Bajan throw fucking well, like four Broncos interceptions good, today? But... Yeah. Whoa, he fucking QB. Shut the fuck up. Somebody somebody at work, I really like the guy, but he was like, I want to establish QB. He's a I was typical like, meatball Bears fan. Well, he was like, I want to establish QB. I don't want like this young shit anymore. And I was like, well, who is available that you could sign? Kirk Cousins? Kirk Cousins coming off an injury is going to be expensive. Established. Yeah. Kirk Cousins is only good. And I, I actually have been warming up to Kirk Cousins the last year or so, but he's only good when he has amazing weapons you know like he yeah. doesn't really bring up the level of everybody else That's kind of most quarterbacks to be honest yeah and i was it like kind of depends on how good their weapons are it was like jacoby Brissett, how good like the team is yeah i was like man he was like yeah uh how long did it take for him to have four touchdowns and i was like dude do you remember last year when he would like run all over how the long place? did it take for fucking kirk cousins to have four touchdowns i don't know dude. years just, the goalpost he sucked ass have you seen Kirk Cousins' fucking numbers? His from first his, like, years. first four years in the league. Yeah, they weren't. Good. They weren't good. They're complete shit. Well, it's just it's guess just, what he ended up pretty good. It's. I was he just like, good. let's develop Not a guy. I was now, just like, pretty good. Yeah, 
I was like, let's develop a guy for once in the fucking franchise. Yeah. Let's take a guy that has a lot of promise and has shown a lot, dude. I just don't understand where all these Bears fans like act like like he's Trubisky and hasn't really shown a shit. Fields has had amazing games that we've all raved about. You know, like he's had amazing throws, amazing runs, and we just want to give up on him this quick after he showed at least I think he showed some improvement this year passing, uh, yeah. you know, yes. and like, I I don't know the fact, you know, I think he and DJ Moore are still like the number two ranked overall duo, too. And it's just like, I don't want to give up on that, man. I want the rest of the team to be good. Build up the rest of the team. You know, you Stop still have him. you still have him on a cheap contract. Mm-hmm. It's not his fault that they wasted fucking three years when they, you know, you're supposed to, you know, be building up your team because you have such a key, cheap contract. You don't have to worry about at the because most because they wasted position. so much of his fucking contract already. His value has been tanked, so they could probably sign him to another deal that's way cheaper than it should be. Just yeah, because we've destroyed his value. Yeah, it's just it's sickening. It's sickening that people want to move on from him so quick. I just don't, I don't get it. Like he had one bad game that he got hurt in, but the two weeks before he had fucking eight touchdowns and was leading the league in touchdown passes. Yeah. Like what the fuck? Do we all just forget that? Yeah, you know, he's still like a pretty right. highly yeah. ranked. I had I had saw some tweet of like his like last seventeen games. They're like MVP numbers. Like it's like three thousand yards passing, like couple hundred yards rushing, like oh, yeah. 30 touchdown passing. Like, fuck, it's, dude. Let's just, they're good numbers. Let's develop and stick with a guy for once in our fucking lives. You know, a young guy, too. Yeah, no, He's I... still fucking young. I will not accept any quarterback that they replace. Do you see Caleb Williams lives. crying? Caleb Williams is... Fuck that guy. No. Drake May, I don't need here. another North Carolina quarterback. No. Thank Phoenix, you. Phoenix is I, fine, but like I don't really want him. I don't want any of these fucking guys. No. Let's take the uber talent that we have and try and help him. Yeah, we're not going to get anyone that's more talented than, than him. And w- like, you think we're going to be capable of develop developing any of these fucking guys? Yeah. No. no. So no. maybe just fucking stick with the talented guy that we have that we're currently ruining instead of drafting some <laughs> other less talented guy and then also ruin him. Yeah, let's just keep doing it. You know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, yeah. expecting a different result. Let's, let's just keep doing the fucking Bears Justin way. Fields no, we're a stuck. A little less than we ruined Jay Cutler. Yeah, we should be happy that we have Fields because we could be stuck with a hell of a lot worse of a quarterback. But this is it. This is all the quarterback. We said this a couple weeks ago. These are all the quarterbacks we get. We're fucking developing yeah. one, building up the rest Figure of the team. Out. Marvin Harrison Jr. and then like maybe getting an O-lineman or a D-lineman. And just figuring out from there. We're not going to get a guy like Justin Fields who has fucking put up with this much bullshit, who's been nothing but a good teammate. He's shown good yeah. leadership. He always takes the blame. He's been very helpful. Like he's been like there was a, he was like sitting next to Tyson today on the bench and like helping yeah. him out. Like you're not going to find Caleb Williams would not do that. Caleb Williams would cry to his mom and then fucking demand a trade. So, yeah, how he would he'll never come. Hey. I don't know what the fuck Bears fans want. They just want to be miserable, I think. They just want to fucking... Anytime the quarterback makes one mistake, they want to start over immediately. It's amazing. Just with, with like, clockwork. Yeah. It's because they're so fucking deranged because they've never had a quarterback that they think that good quarterbacks don't ever make mistakes. Well, yeah. So they they... just flip the fuck out anytime a quarterback makes a mistake. Makes a mistake. It's, it's it's insane. It's like have I'm you so seen Packers it. fans like Aaron Rodgers will throw interceptions and like shit the bad, but he's still fucking good. Aaron Rodgers also wasn't super good the first few years it's, of his uh, career. It's exhausting. Yeah, I'm I'm sick of it. But hey, yeah, we it got wasn't immediately fucking amazing. Yeah, we got a game on Thursday. Get excited about. I don't know if excitement's the right word. Is that the word you would use? No, I, uh, so uh, it's right. compulsory for me to watch it. Yeah, it's just on. So yeah, you can go to the link in um, the uh, the description or whatever. I don't even know where I put it. What it's called on Spotify, but follow us there. Follow our TikTok, all that good stuff. This is the end of the episode. Thank you so much for listening. See you guys next week, bitches.